Hey everybody, Bob here and welcome to another Making Stuff video. Today I am going to be reviewing this inexpensive laser engraver, so let's get started. So this is a review of the LX A3 Pro laser engraver, which is available from banggood.com. And at the filming of this video, the cost was $199 from the China warehouse and $239 from the USA warehouse. And I've got links to both of these in the description of the video. Now this is an honest review of the LX A3 Pro laser engraver, but for full disclosure, I'm letting you know that banggood.com did send me this engraver for a review, but that doesn't mean the review is biased in any way. Now this laser engraver is a kit, so there was some assembly required. This by far was not the most difficult kit I've ever assembled. In fact, it was quite easy. It only took me about an hour and a half to assemble the machine, and I was taking my time, and I was also being slowed down by the videoing process. If you've ever assembled a 3D printer, this will be much the same, but probably a little bit easier. The kit does not come with any directions, but there is a thank you card in the box that also has links to download the instructions and software from the internet. The instructions are really just a series of pictures, but as I said before, it was really easy to assemble. The laser engraver has a working dimension of roughly 375 millimeters by 275 millimeters. It also has a two and a half watt laser diode. The brains of the machine are some sort of Arduino clone and the motors are powered by two 4988 stepper drivers. The whole thing is powered by a 12 volt 500 milliamp power supply, which is also included in the kit. Once I got the machine assembled, I had to download the software and install it on my computer. Once it was installed, I also had to install the driver. Now this is real easy to do because there's a link at the top right hand corner of the menu to install the drivers. Another change I had to make was to set the power on the laser in weak mode. The default setting is set to one, which isn't enough to see the laser, so I had to set it to around 50 so that it could be seen. So now that I had the machine assembled and the software installed, it was time to power on the laser engraver. Now this immediately showed one of the things this kit lacks, and that is safety. When I plugged in the USB cable into the computer, the laser immediately came on at 100% power for about four to five seconds. I also found out that when refreshing the COM port in the software, the same thing would happen. Now, after watching several other videos on this product, I noticed that others were also pointing out this fact. So I would highly recommend wearing the included safety glasses whenever there's power to the machine, not just when it's actually running. Now that's what I'm going to do because the two and a half watt laser is more than capable of causing permanent eye damage and burning the skin. Another safety feature this machine lacks is any type of enclosure, which means there's nothing to contain the fumes or the laser light. So I'd make sure to have a window or door open when using the machine and also make sure anyone in close proximity is also wearing glasses. I'll probably build an enclosure around mine to contain any stray laser light and also capture and vent the fumes to the outside. Another couple of annoying things about this machine is the fact that it doesn't have any limit switches and there's practically no cable management. The cable for the x-axis and the laser were barely long enough to reach the maximum distance. This whole kit reminds me of my first 3D printer. Once I had the 3D printer assembled, the first thing I had to do was print upgrades for it. Now there's a lot of upgrades that can be made for this kit. On the good side, the cost of the printer is only $199 from the Banggood China Warehouse and $239 from the Banggood USA Warehouse which makes this a great little machine if you're starting out with laser engraving and you don't want to spend a lot of money. So once I started using the machine, it took a little bit to get it dialed in, but once I got it dialed in, the results really weren't that bad. You can see here in my first attempt to engrave the subscriber button, the letters are a little bit wobbly. This was caused by a loose x-axis belt. So I just tightened up the belt tensioners and the second attempt was much better but you can see here where some of the lines were being missed by the laser. Now this was being caused by a loose x-axis on the rails. So after fixing this, my third attempt at a subscribe button worked well. Now if you're not a subscriber and you've made it this far, you're probably gonna enjoy some of my other videos, so please consider hitting that subscribe button. 
There are a few quirky little things with the software that it took me a while to figure out. For instance, to load my own images, I had to click on one of the included clip art images, which loads a second screen. Now on this second screen, there's a folder I could click on, which would allow me to load my own images. The software will also occasionally throw an error on the screen, which can be annoying, but when I clicked on continue, everything always worked fine. The software also has several different engraving modes. I found the best modes for getting straight lines was to use the outline mode. Now this is also the quickest mode. When I use the full mode on the same image, you can see the lines start to look a little bit wobbly again. So what do I think of this little laser engraver? Well, it's a fun little machine to put together, it's easy to build, and the software is not that hard to figure out. Now on the downside, there's really not any type of safety built into it other than the little safety glasses that's included in the kit. It's got a pretty decent sized build area, so it's easy to fit a lot of things in there and do some engraving. Now, with the two and a half watt laser, you're only gonna be able to engrave soft materials like wood and leather and paper. Coming in at around $200, the price of the machine really isn't all that bad for someone that wants to get started with laser engraving. Now, if you'd like to pick up one of these laser engravers for yourself, there's links in the description of this video. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give me that big thumbs up. And if you aren't a subscriber, please consider subscribing and ringing that bell so you don't miss any upcoming Making Stuff videos. And thanks for watching.